Welcome my friends! We already know how to install Kibana and Elasticsearch on your Windows computer. If not, link will be under the video. And in this video I will show you how to install Elasticsearch Kibana Logstash on your Linux computer or Linux server to grab and monitor Nginx logs. So the next steps during this video. We will install, we will create Linux server using the Google Cloud Platform, it will be Compute Engine. Then we will install Elasticsearch, configure it to open on the server. We will install Kibana, we will install Logstash, configure it and install Nginx to run the server and we will grab logs from Nginx and put these logs to your Elasticsearch. So let's start. What do we need? First of all, let's create a server. I have my own cloud platform. We will use Compute Engine to create our first instance. So let's call it ELK. The next we will choose series, it will be first generation. And one, it's pretty big for us. Then what we need, it will be Debian. Linux 10, so you can change to Ubuntu, but it doesn't matter in our case. Then we need allow default access and allow HTTP and HTTPS is important. And now we can create. Okay, we have this server, we can even open IP, we have IP. So Let's go to server for, first of all and we'll check network because of we need uh, open ports for Elasticsearch and Kibana. So we have network interface, it's default network, we can open and we can go to firewalls. Let's click firewall and uh, create new firewall rule. So we will call it Elasticsearch for example. Network default, priority, it will be ingress and we won't allow all instances in the network and source IP, it will be 0, 0, 0, so all IP addresses, no secondary filters and uh, specify specific ports and we need TCP 9200, it's specifically for Elasticsearch. And we can create. The next one we will create a separate firewall for Kibana. All instances, the same range. So in general we could create it in one firewall rule, but for this demo 5601. For this demo, I will show you how to create two different rules. Okay, now let's go back to Compute Engine. Now, using SSH, we can connect to our server. So, first of all, let's update server. The next one we need to check documentation how to install Elasticsearch. You can find all links in the description for this video. Also in the previous videos I already showed how to install Elasticsearch to Windows computer. So we need to Debian package and let's go step by step. Okay, we don't have we get. Let's install we get. Let's do it bigger a bit. Now it will be easier to read. So we need the uh, we need call apt get install we get, but we need permissions. So sudo. We already yes confirm and uh, go step by step. We get 
artifacts. Also, we need install app transport HTTPS. The next one, this command. And uh, the most important, install Elasticsearch. Okay, next, uh, then manual part we can skip. Enable, then we need to check what we have in it or system MD in our computer. So let's copy this command to check. So we have system MD and we will use commands for system not in it for system MD we need. So let's reload demo and uh, add the uh, Elasticsearch service. Okay, created link and now we can start Elasticsearch. It will take some time. Okay, it's done. To test it, we can execute curl command to localhost 9200. So, and as we see, we have Elasticsearch, but let's test it on the server. First of all, doesn't work. Let's remove HTTPS on HTTP, and it doesn't work as well. So we need we need change config in uh, Elastic file. So to do it, we can take a look what we have. We need update this config to run it. Okay, we open this file and uh, what we need. Let's go to network host section. Let's change it to 000. And we need add one more config. It's discovery type single node. In our case, we are using only one node of Elasticsearch, so we need to set it that it should Elasticsearch should use only one node. Let's save it, and now we can stop Elasticsearch and run it again. Let's start again. Okay, it started. Let's check localhost works and on the server, let's reload. Secure connection, we need to remove HTTPS. And now, as you see, it works. We have Elasticsearch installed on our Ubuntu or Debian Linux computer. The next step, let's install Kibana. Okay, we have the same for Debian package and as you see, we have the same import Elastic PGP key. We already executed this command, also we installed transport HTTPS, we did echo and 
only one thing what we need. We need to install Kibana. Let's copy this and uh, run. Okay, we installed the next. Let's configure system MD we have and um, we need to add this service. And the second one. Okay, link was created and now we can start Kibana service. Okay, it should work. Okay, doesn't work. To fix it, we need to configure Kibana config file. We have this file. Let's sudo nano What do we need to change? We need to change uh, server host. And put the same for zero. Now we can save and now we can stop Kibana service and run it again. Also to check what's going on with Kibana, we can use this command, it's a journal. Let's take a look what we have. So as you see, Kibana started, so Kibana works. Now we can close it and let's open Kibana 5601 port. Uh, usually we need to wait a few seconds or a minute while Kibana will run and then we can try again. So as you see Kibana server is not ready yet. Let's wait and then we will see that Kibana is installed. But anyway, Kibana already works. We know how to do it and uh, let's go to the next step, it's uh, install Logstash. Again, let's go to elastic.co, install Logstash and we see that everything is the same, apt key install transport HTTPS and uh, we need to execute install Elasticsearch, install Logstash. And meanwhile we can open Kibana and it works. Okay, let's go to DevTools. And we will see that we have indices. Okay. Now we need what we have. We have log stash. So for log stash, as you see, we don't have commands for running service. But it's not a problem. Now we need to uh, configure Logstash and uh, run it. But to configure it, we need to configure it for something specific and uh, we need Nginx. So let's install Nginx. With Nginx it's pretty easy, only up get install Nginx. Yes.
Okay, now we can try, let's open. Nginx is configured for HTTP from the box. And now welcome to Nginx, it works. The next step we need to configure Logstash to read the Nginx logs. To do it we need to go to etc Logstash. We have conf d and for example cd conf It's empty, let's create some config file. We will call it let's touch nginx conf and sudo and we need add it config file. Okay, let's open this file and now we can put the next config. I already prepared it. So we have three, three different sections. The first one is input, where we put a file names, where we need to grab logs. In our case, it's access log and error, specifically for Nginx. Then we have filter section with grok and, uh, for example, geo IP. It will allow us to, based on the IP address, we can clarify the location, country and city of the user. Also, we have some additional data where we put a timestamp, remove field, this it will be changed, this field. And the next, and of course, grok. Grok is a pattern for parsing Nginx logs or any other logs, there are a lot of information about Grok. If you want to know about it more, you can leave a comment and I will create a separate video specifically for this part. And the last one, the most important is output, where we will save our logs. Now it's better and so host will be our Elasticsearch, index it will be pattern based on Nginx and date and the document type it will be Nginx logs. Now we can save it. The next step we need to run Elasticsearch. Now it works. Yep, it works. We need to run Logstash. So to do it, we can go to to run. It, we can go user share log stash we have bin folder and bin it's a folder where log stash execution file is saved so now we can run it on just bin log stash and the next one we need to put back f it file and we will put a configuration file in our case, we saved it to ATC log dash conf D and the uh, Nginx conf. Let's run it. And what we have, we don't have Java. In this case, let's install Java. Also, I have a separate video how to install Java specifically for Windows. And for Linux, we will just execute this command default grem. And uh, yes, and we will install Java. Okay, Java is installed. Let's check. Java installed and now we can run Logstash again. Ok, let's check path. We have this file. Hmm.
let's run again. Okay, we have that it should be writable. I guess we don't have access, so let's run it under sudo. Sudo should fix it. Okay, as we see Elasticsearch works, Logstash works, and now we can check successfully. And as you see, we have a new index, it's Nginx. Let's open it, what we have. Let's run it. So what we have, we have one item, it's what we opened right now. So we have client IP, we have time, when it was run, we see that it was host elk what we created and geo ip we see that it's ukraine and we have location we have city ip address also we have its nginx path to file and uh, message default what we have and what's important we have um, file or path what was opened in our case it's home let's response chrome okay let's try one more call for example we won't run home we don't have this page but anyway when we run again we see that we have value 2 we have two instances two documents and uh, the same information about location country and um, pass pass what was opened I don't see it. Request. So we have request and in request we see that URL was opened home. And uh, what we have. And response 404. So we don't have this error. So basically that's it. Now let's wrap up. In this video we configured Linux server on Google Cloud Platform GCP configured uh, firewall rules to be allowed open Elasticsearch and Kibana. Then we installed Elasticsearch, Kibana, Logstash, installed uh, Nginx and Java, configured everything, and uh, now we can collect uh, Nginx logs in Elasticsearch using Logstash and uh, do some visualization using Kibana. So, thank you for watching, subscribe to this channel and uh, soon you will get more interesting and useful videos how to use different web technologies.